So I'm here in Cape Arid National Park. I can see the ocean already, so I'm gonna go find a campsite, pitch camp, then kind of scout out where I'm gonna go tonight to take a picture. I'm gonna set up, probably be here for two or three nights. So I'm gonna set up my tent, get everything ready, and then I'll go uh, scout some locations. The day's looking real nice, it's nice and clear. Unfortunately, no clouds in the sky, but it might change this afternoon. beautiful day but unfortunately there's no clouds so I'm gonna go out and do some landscape photography and try and get a picture without clouds in it. We'll see how it goes. So Cape Arid National Park is a little bit off the beaten track. It's about 110 kilometers east of Esperance, and the last about 20, 25 kilometers is a dirt road. It's a pretty bad condition dirt road. It's uh, pretty corrugated, at least when I just came through. But they were working on it, which is good, so hopefully soon it'll be a lot better. Yeah, just a short walk from my campsite is a beautiful beach here. And right there is the Thomas River. My campsite's just um, just a little bit north of the river. It seems like there's no one here. As I like coming to national parks that are not too popular and haven't been overly visited or overly photographed, just because you get the opportunity to see something not everyone else has seen, and you haven't seen it in pictures a hundred times, like the more popular national parks. Simply spectacular here. Check out this nice view. Got the pearly white sands and the sky blue ocean. Hiking doesn't get much better than this. So what I'm doing now is this trail kind of goes south and then it'll cut to the west. So I'm getting to the west side because the sun is obviously setting in the west. So when it sets this big hill right here is going to block all the sunlight from the scene to the beach to the left. So down there would be a spot for sunrise which I might check out in the morning. But right now I'm hiking around the end of this point so hopefully I can find something over there. I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but I just saw an emu right in front of me on the trail. Ah, oh, huge birds. They're like a prehistoric velociraptor. It's gone into the brush over there, so I'm just walking by, leaving it alone. Now I might want to do some uh, wildlife photography up here. If I see one, if I see anything else, any more emus or kangaroos, tomorrow I might bring up the long lens and have a sit for a while. So 
like everywhere you turn on this trail, there's just dramatic coastlines. Like we have this big cliff here. We've got the water rushing up on those rocks. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll make a photograph just because that cliff's in the shade. It'll be in the shade the rest of the night. So maybe again, another sunrise location. Long ways down. So I'm about halfway down this trail. I think it's about five kilometers to the end. I believe it ends at that point over there. So I'm about two and a half kilometers in. I still have two hours until sunset and I have no idea what I'm gonna shoot. So I don't wanna try and hike too far back in the dark, but I will if necessary. But I think I just might've found something actually. All right, so I'm climbing up here and I see these. Those are emu tracks. It means there's gotta be a good amount around here. I've already seen one on this hike and I'd love to see another few. Oh, so many tracks. That one looks a little small. They just climb up and down these dunes like it's nothing. So spots like this are often the most rewarding spots. Like look at that beach. It's so white and sandy. It's beautiful. Big waves and there's not a single other person here. It's because it was kind of a challenge to get to this spot. So it makes it all the more rewarding when you get a photograph in it. Even if the photograph's not that good, I'll still have a good memory. So I was just wandering around with my camera, kind of taking some shots, seeing where I wanted to shoot. And I decided I'm gonna try for a more simple composition. So I'm gonna do something close to the beach. I might get my feet wet. I just slipped on a rock and fell. Luckily, uh, my camera's fine, but it bounced against the rock. But yeah, I'm gonna do something a little more uh, intimate and more of a zoomed rather than the big wide hero shot. Just because there's no clouds, the big hero shot won't look too good. So yeah, I'm gonna try just something uh, zoomed in a little bit more right by the beach. So I already readjusted my composition a little bit. Now I'm using these rocks and this crack in the rocks to lead to the green algae or something on the rocks. So it adds a little bit of color and that's on the left side and then blank in the sky. Then on the right bottom, it'll be the water and the right top will be that little point over there. So it's very simple, very simple image. We're about to lose the light in the foreground behind the hills. So I'll take some pictures now with the light then I'll wait until the sun almost sets and then we get color in the sky. Then I'll blend the two images later in Photoshop. Very simple, but I like it. I'm shooting at one one hundredth of a second, F8, ISO 100. And I'm using a self timer just so when I hit the shutter button, it doesn't affect the sharpness but I'm pretty happy with my foreground shots the sun's about to go behind the hill so now all I'm gonna do is just wait until we get some color in the sky get some more images then head back so 
So we're starting to get a little bit of light in the sky. It's just a little bit of bluish, yellowish. So I'm gonna take a shot, because this will look real nice blended with what I had before. Because it's a little bit of color, but not too extreme. So it won't look unnatural when I blend the two. Looks pretty good. So it's a nice kind of blue tint, and the rocks are kind of dark. So even without the light, it'll still be a balanced image. Here comes the water. Looks kind of cool. Well, that about sums it up. Uh, the light's pretty much all gone. I could stay for a little bit and try and get more. It's hard to sink the because I want the waves to be big in the background as the water's flowing out or in, which is pretty hard. So I had it on a two second timer, taking five consecutive images, trying to get something. But I might have ended up getting something, but it was still a nice, real beautiful night to be out here. So I'm gonna head back, go to camp, make some dinner. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.